Mackenzie Gore, 281, 333 opponent slugging percentage. Obviously, those are great numbers, but look at the whip. The 119 whip from Mackenzie Gore is the part that you just hope stays right around there throughout the year. Jose coming in, leading the American League in hits, leading the American League in total bases, tied for first in the major leagues in OPS. Swing and a miss. Maybe a foul tip on the way. And Mackenzie Gore, strikeout number 24 in just over 16 innings. Swing and a miss. Mackenzie Gore blowing a couple of guys away with Alex Bregman next. Yep, 3 2 and a soft fly ball lifted to right. Lane Thomas drawing a beat on it and a dominant first inning for Mackenzie Gore. Justin Verlander making his 510th start of his major league career. Right now, the presence of Justin Verlander on this mound might be what the Astros need to try and turn the corner. A little ground ball and Verlander, a little fielding practice on the first batter he sees. Welcome back, Justin Verlander. Ground ball right back to him to start his 2024 season. Abrams batting 295, 358 on base percentage, five homers, 11 RBIs, off to a fantastic start for the Nationals. 1-1 one, one pitch is, or 1-2 pitch sent into center field. Mauricio Dubon is there, and he'll put it away. So two batters, two outs for Berlin. Winker resurgent so far this year, third in the National League with a 364 average, and he leads the majors with a 485 on base percentage. The wind, the pitch. And a swing and a foul back behind the plate as Winker lost the bat, which went forward, and the ball went back. <laughs> Got him, Justin Verlander, in his first start of 2024. A 1-2-3 inning with a strikeout to finish it. Tucker at the plate hitting 260 with a 374 on base percentage. 0-1, and Tucker hits it the other way, shallow left field, and that's going to dunk in for a hit over toward the line. Chased down over by the line by Rosario. Tucker racing the second, and he'll get in standing with a leadoff double. 65.3 off the bat. Kyle was able to get some wood on it just enough to slice it in there for a leadoff double. So Tucker in scoring position with nobody out for Yiner Diaz. Line drive, base it to left field. Tucker had to hold up. He is now being waved around. Initially, Gary Pettis had him stopped, and Yiner Diaz gets into second with a double. The Astros lead one to nothing. See that slider in the inner third elevated just enough for Yiner to get the head there. That ball was smoked. So the Astros on the board first against Mackenzie Gore, giving up a run here in the second inning on back-to-back -back doubles. Pena, seventh in the AL with a 329 average, 361 on base percentage, two homers, eight RBIs. And he shoots one to set left center field. That ball's well struck, and that's down into the wall. Yiner Diaz can walk home. Jeremy Pena into second base with an RBI double. And just like that, the Astros in front two to nothing. They wanted that pitch maybe down and away. He pulled it to the inside. Jeremy was more than ready to pull those hands in and break that into left center field. And here's Chaz McCormick celebrating his 29th birthday today. Over the second baseman, Garcia's head. Good read by Pena. He's going to make the turn, and he is going to score the third run. Astros take a 3-0 lead. The birthday boy celebrates with an RBI single. Four straight hits now in this inning against Mackenzie Gore. 3-0 Astros lead the Nationals bottom of the second. Justin working with a 3-0 lead now. Gets a high pop-up off the bat of Lane Thomas down the right field side. And Jose Abreu over the shoulder. He likes those plays. Stays with it for the first out. So Abreu retiring Lane Thomas and now Luis Garcia Jr. the bat. Swing and a tapper, hit to the right side. Altuve to his right coming in. He fields, throws just in time to get the speedy Garcia by about a step. Manessas hitting 196, 295 on base percentage. No homers, five RBIs in 14 games. Manessas sends this one to center field. Dubon back on it near the warning track. Now on the warning track, close to 400 feet from home plate, but he puts it away for the final out. Justin Verlander has retired the first six he has seen. Two men down on top of the third. Here's Jeremy Pena. But Pena swings the ball and hits line drives as he smokes one to right field. Tucker will go first to third. Jeremy's two for two today. Had that 10 game hitting streak snapped on Wednesday, but he's right back at it with a two for two night tonight. That'll bring up McCormick, who had an RBI single his last time up. There's one ball, two strikes. Abrams to his left and a little shovel over to Garcia. So it takes a while, but Mackenzie Gore gets that badly needed third inning zero. 20 pitches for Verlander, first two innings. Very efficient. Rosario grounds one to short. Jeremy Pena is there. 
makes the play out number one. Verlander has faced seven batters and retired seven batters tonight. Bradley's hit safely in four of his last six games and six of the nine in which he has played this year. Dodger pitching Ooh. took care of that. Does he take care of this one? Heading for the scoreboard. It's going to hit right off of the board about 380 feet away and a loud double is the Nats first knock of this game. Well, it's their first hit. We'll see if Ildemaro Vargas can pick him up. And Vargas slaps one into right field. Adams being sent home by Ricky Gutierrez. He will score. And the Nats are on the board. The bottom of the order getting it done. Vargas RBI number four. Top of the order, here's Jacob Young. He's going to lay one down and use the legs oh. for a base hit. So fast. If the defense doesn't make a perfect play, you just don't throw him out when he lays one down. And so now, two on for C.J. Abrams. There it is. Andy got him. Got him in a pickle between short and third. Bregman's got it. Throws it down to me. They tag out Vargas. A perfect time for that inside move. 3-2 pitch, a little looper to Alex Bregman at third, and that will do it for the Nationals in the third inning. They score a run on three consecutive hits. 3-1 Astros. 3-1 lead for the Astros, bottom of the fourth inning. Verlander back out there. Verlander continues to be very pitch efficient. 50 pitches through four innings, and he leads 3-1. to one. Well, tough spot here for 33-year-old right-hander Derek Law coming in with the bases loaded for the Astros, one out, and facing Chaz McCorgan, a right-handed hitter who has an RBI single in this game. First pitch swinging Chaz McCormick sends one to deep right deep enough to score a run tagging at third is Kyle Tucker Chaz McCormick the birthday boy has two runs batted in and the Astros lead four to one on the sack fly two out of nobody on for Riley Adams who started that string of three consecutive batters with a hit against Berlin a ball roasted out to center by Riley Adams and see you later Dubon the wall the same time and the ball park is lit up in red let's go on Adams second of the year what a night against Verlander a double a run and a homer it's a 4-2 game bottom of the sixth inning Justin Verlander with a 4-2 lead has allowed four hits at this point he has not walked anybody he has struck out two through five Swing and a miss. Got him on another curveball, and Young strikes out. That's three strikeouts for Verlander, and there's one away. Curveball looks sharp, too. Made Young look really bad on that last one. Winker has struck out and flied out to left. Cold third strike. He dotted him up at 95, his hardest pitch of the night is probably his final pitch of the night. Welcome back, Justin Verlander. Career start number 5-10, and he walks off the mound with a 4-2 lead. Chaz McCormick leads it off. He's driven in two runs on his 29th birthday, a sack fly and an RBI single. Chaz with a base hit. The 29-year-old on his birthday having another big game. He is now on his birthday, 7 for 13 with four walks. He is a machine on his birthday. Look at a huge lead for Chaz. He thinks he's Ricky Henderson. There he goes on the first pitch. He is Ricky. Chaz is doing it all. Here's Mauricio Dubon, two for three, a couple of singles. Dubon towards the right side, base hit off the glove of Garcia. Here comes Chaz McCormick being waved around late, and the throw will be cut off. Dubon will be out in second, but that's another hit with a runner in scoring position, and the Astros lead it 5-2. to two. So Vargas still at first, two out. C.J. Abrams at the plate, 0 for 3. Runner goes. Throw right to the bag, and a very late call by Nate Tomlinson calling out Ildemaro Vargas. Well, the Nationals look at a replay to see if they want to challenge the call at second base. And they will. Here's the other part of this. The foot's in the way. Exactly. That's obstruction on Pena. Colton Field stands. The runner's out. All right, Washington so what's the obstruction rule? What's the obstruction rule? This is, Davey's going to go out right now because that is the obvious thing for obstruction. All the hoopla about blocking second base and the Nets lose a runner when second base was obviously blocked. There you see him, Josh Hader, the closer for the Houston Astros, getting an opportunity to pick up a save. Only two opportunities previously. Does have one save in that Astro uniform. He'd like to add number two right here. Abrams, right center. Ball falling. And you know what he's thinking. Third base. 
Bodies in there, standing up. T.J. Abrams, National League leading third triple of the year. And the Nats have life in the ninth. Jesse Winker looking for that first career knock against Hader, 0 for 6. And this ball high in the air out to left. McCormick might as well just lob it into second. Nats score and it's 5 to 3. Astros happy to trade a run for an out there. Nationals will have the tying run on first base now. Two runners on, still one out in the inning. Joey Manessis is coming up representing the winning run. Got a big strikeout for Hader. Second out of the inning, Manessis goes down on strikes. Nationals down to their last out, and Nick Senzel will pinch it here for Eddie Rosario. Got him. Astros win it 5-3. to three. Josh Hader picks up the save. Justin Verlander in his first start of 2024 gets a W.